Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. And just like that, Bitcoin soars to past $10,000 yesterday, now correcting a little bit, trading at 91.81. But guys, yesterday we saw a high, a Bitcoin high of $10,353 before coming back down. Now, you know what that means. What that means is that buyers were buying up at these lower prices, the 7,500 mark, taking profits here and uh, enough of them uh, so that we were seeing a Bitcoin price decrease. Okay, so this is short term selling. These aren't uh, big picture people. Clearly, if they're selling Bitcoin at $10,000, you know, having that psychological number in there, deciding that, you know, $10,000 is a pretty good return when I bought at 7,500. There's a bigger picture to this, folks. Bitcoin is going to go past $20,000, uh, whether it's by the end of 2019, uh, but definitely, I think, in 2020, if not by the end of 2019. That's my thought on this. And we saw the entire crypto space moving up, okay? The market cap now... Uh, and, and you know, yesterday was a completely different story before this pump. Uh, right now, the market cap's at $243.2 billion. And uh, BTC dominance, clearly it's uh, making waves. It's uh, setting the pace right now up to 68.1%. And XRP didn't do too bad either. Obviously not the same kinds of gains as Bitcoin. Uh, and there are reasons for that, guys. We're going to get into that. XRP right now trading at 0.292 cents. Uh, nevertheless, XRP still was making some good gains. Okay, yesterday was trading at, uh, what were, where were we yesterday? It was about 24, what was it? What was yesterday? The 20. Fifth, um, right, right before that pump, we were trading at 27, 7, 27 in around there. Uh, we went all the way up to 31.5, and now we're trading back down at 29.1. But what a tremendous difference, uh, you know, only from yesterday, only 24 hours ago. Uh, I saw this on Twitter here, Ant1, that's at Ant1596949594 on Twitter. Ripple's XRP is a better idea for the world rather than Libra. And this from Corey Johnson. Corey Johnson, you know, guys, used to work at Ripple. He doesn't work there anymore, but he's still sticking by his guns. Obviously, uh, they parted on good good terms and Corey Johnson still does believe uh even though he doesn't work there anymore still does believe that Ripple and XRP are the solution for the future so Corey Johnson uh they call him a magazine writer forensic an analyst crypto influencer and investigative journalist and editor at Slam, Vibe, and The Street believes that Ripple and XRP is the only crypto that you can actually report about. And this is important, guys, because when it comes to the rest of the crypto industry, it is merely guessing, he says. Uh, and this in a tweet from Corey Johnson. So there are some interviews going around. Essentially, the take home to this, though, is that uh, Ripple is a transparent company. They're telling us exactly what's going on with Ripple, the, the company and XRP, the cryptocurrency, how they're utilizing XRP, how they're building the ecosystem. And, you know, Corey Johnson is essentially stating just that. There's some more in this article about uh, the Libra coin and uh, debates about that. Guys, I will link it in the description, as I do with everything. Uh, you can read more if you want. But this here, does Corey Johnson suggest Ripple instead of Libra? Judging by the tweet Johnson published as a comment to the Bloomberg talk on Libra, it is possible that he suggests Ripple's XRP to be the answer to the current issues of the transnational payment system in the U.S. and globally rather than Libra. Uh, we know Libra has had its uh, fair share of criticism uh, and for good reason, right? Facebook uh, is a company not really as credible as they used to be. You know, they've had a lot of problems over the years with trust, with privacy issues. Don't want to get into that too much. Uh, although it is really great to see Corey Johnson still promoting XRP and Ripple. Uh, and I'm sure there's a reason for that, even though he's no longer a uh, employee at Ripple. Between you and me, I think he still holds a lot of XRP. Anyway, uh, let's keep going here. So I saw this uh, again on Twitter from PhDJ. That's at PhDJ does tweets. And this is an interview with the Zago uh, uh, CEO. So we love Bitcoin, but XRP solves our problems, says Zago CEO Jurgen. Kunal, it's, a, it's an entire interview here. I just highlighted a part that I wanted to read to you guys. Uh, the question here, the world is talking about Bitcoin being the first digital currency. Do you have plans to include Bitcoin on your exchange or do you think XRP outshines Bitcoin in everything? We love Bitcoin, he says, and also love what Bitcoin stands for. But for retail payments, Bitcoin in its current form is not suited to the task. As so many people say, the purpose of our exchange is to build liquidity for XRP in the countries we will be expanding to. We need XRP liquidity in every currency pair to perform the full end-to-end -end payment rail we envisage. 
and cannot rely on third-party exchanges for this. So guys, important to build those rails, important to promote XRP utility and uh, to have value. Use it to solve a problem and uh, when something solves a problem, it is considered to be uh, more valuable, regardless of what you're talking about, right? If you have a car, it solves a pretty big problem. Therefore, cars are valuable. Okay, that's not the only reason cars are valuable. Obviously, the materials and so on and so forth, but I'm sure you get my point. Well, if XRP is going to be that cryptocurrency that solves the real world problem of transferring money back and forth, and if you need to use XRP to source liquidity to be able to send money instantly, wouldn't that be considered? considered a valuable cryptocurrency. I personally think so. A lot of others do. Guys, I will link this in the description. It's uh, quite a long interview. Well, not that long, but I don't want to go through the entire thing. It is quite interesting though. What I'm interested in today is uh, essentially the, the market and how we just saw that pump, right? Let's go back to Bitcoin for a sec here. Like, look at that pump, okay? We went from 7,500 to 10,003 in a matter of a few hours. And uh, now, of course, retracing a little bit. And, uh, you know, we, we've heard about Prime Minister Z's Bitcoin blockchain effect here. China's all in on blockchain. And so this from Crypto Wolf, XRP Crypto Wolf on Twitter uh, sent me this. Less than a day after Xi Jinping, president of China and the general secretary of the Communist Party of China, announced a sovereign effort to promote blockchain as a core technology, the first DLT-powered application has been unveiled. According to Dovi Wan, founding partner at Primitive Capital, China has already launched its first blockchain application, describing her sentiment as so wild and so fun. She tweeted, okay, so from China, guys. There was a point where China wanted to ban cryptocurrencies and then the government said, no, 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 scrap that. Now they're promoting cryptocurrencies. I know the Modern Investor did a great video on this. I forget which one it was, but uh, it was from a couple of days ago explaining uh, Bitcoin's current price surge. He goes through all the steps. It's quite a long video, but he really does go through it in detail. The takeaway though, is that uh, now the government is telling the people that Bitcoin is good, uh, that blockchain is good. Focus on Bitcoin. You know, we will not put you in jail if you buy Bitcoin. And so I think this has a lot to do with this price surge. Uh, but you know what guys, it's not as simple as that. There are many factors involved. Uh, I will link this in the description for you guys. And then finally, Bitcoin source 13% leads crypto market surge as an analyst predicts XRP and Ethereum alt season. So the question that we all have now, I own Bitcoin. I know probably some of you guys own Bitcoin, but I know a lot of you guys own XRP and I own a lot of XRP as well. Most of my cryptocurrency assets are in XRP. So Despite the fact that Bitcoin is going up and I like this, I'm also curious about the price of XRP and when we will start to see those same kinds of increases. So uh, let's read this. So after a rough week for crypto traders, Bitcoin is now leading a broad crypto market rally. The king of crypto is up 13.07% at 8,417 according to Coin360. All right, and then it gives you the stats on Ethereum, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, so on and so forth. Uh, so technical analyst Josh Rager says that a sudden pump is a great start, but BTC needs now to close above 8,300, which it has. Uh, this uh, article is a little outdated. Nevertheless, all this stuff happened so quickly. Bullish candle that woke the market. Uh, I was hedged short myself one times, got stopped out and still up in BTC. Okay, so he's talking about shorting in a bull rally, which I don't get personally, but... Paddy Stash tells his 13,000 followers that he thinks a new alt season is slowly starting to pick up steam. Uh, so what have we seen in the past? You got to remember, guys, alt seasons tend to follow Bitcoin. And so for Bitcoin, you know, we saw Bitcoin go up. Let's go back to the daily for a second, guys, just to remind you what we saw uh, back here. OK, and it took a while to get to this point. OK, uh, when we go on the daily, we remember Bitcoin trading in the 3000 range down here. Then by April, we saw a good, healthy leg up. May, there was a little bit of a correction. And then by the beginning of June, another healthy leg up. When you compare that to XRP, guys, okay, let's go to April here. So April, there was a little bump and then it came right back down to where it was trading uh, back in the winter. Okay, so we thought, well, why aren't we making those same kinds of gains? And then May, we saw this bump up, came back down. There was another bump up, but really, guys, uh, all these altcoins are going to lag against Bitcoin, okay? Let's remember that. 
If you guys remember back to the uh, crypto rally of 2017, okay, this is a very good example of this. It's a very prominent example just to show you guys. So Bitcoin, let's go back to Bitcoin. Okay, so this is Bitcoin on the daily and there was continuous gains for Bitcoin before alts really did see any movement. Okay, let's remember this mid. Okay, so early, I mean, even 2016 was big for Bitcoin, but let's not even go back that far. Uh, fr from 2017, we kept seeing Bitcoin rally up, down, up, down, but still making new highs. Okay, up and then a high down here, 55. Okay, so new highs, right? We're making new highs for Bitcoin in these rallies. And this is all throughout 2017. And then it was finally this leg up that finally pushed altcoins. Now, if you're looking at this and you're thinking to yourself, well, why is Bitcoin going up and my XRP is just kind of dwindling, just kind of moving sideways? That to me is the same kind of thinking as what we're thinking right now. Uh, it's going to take time. So all throughout 2017, Bitcoin was going up and up and up, albeit not exponentially. It was still going up though. And guys, this is what XRP was doing in 2017. Let's not forget. It's going down to 15 cents, up to 30 cents, down back to 15, up to 30, approximately, give or take, this is 29, uh, down to 17, up to 28, okay, before it really took off, and this is the thing. People have to have confidence in Bitcoin before they can pour their money into altcoins. So guys, it wasn't until December 12th, okay, that XRP really started to shoot up. So let's go back to Bitcoin here. And on December 12th, uh, 2017 for Bitcoin, we were already, December 12th would already have brought us to this candlestick here, guys. So this is the December 12th candlestick. And look, we were already almost at the top for Bitcoin. So just to put this into perspective for you guys, altcoin season does lag, uh, but it will go on for a little longer. And that's because people have to have full confidence in Bitcoin before they can pour their money into altcoins. Right now, we've got the China news. We've got the president of China telling their people that Bitcoin is safe. Guys, this is the first step in a process that will probably take a few more months. The good news is, though, the crypto market is bullish. It's just a matter of time before we see those gains. Anyways, I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.